and we met at New Apollos. So I want to talk about basically, um, a lot of people are misunderstanding what tomorrow is. It's not, a lot of people talking about it's the end of the world, it's more shit, it ain't none of that. If anything, it might be the start of something new, a new era where like, um, you know, like just everyone calls it 5D. I've never really grasped what 5D was. And, you know, I only grasp things that grasp me, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it pulls me to it, then I'm going to study it. I'm going to research it. If I hear about it and I move on, then that's for a reason, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people talking about this 5D thing. Can't talk much on it because I don't know much on it. But what I do know is that tomorrow, bro, it's going to be a, it's going to be, a, I don't know, I don't know exactly what it might feel like. I don't know if it'll feel like anything. I know for a fact that I felt today, today had a big ass presence. And I said that in my last video. I don't even know, I really don't know why I'm continuing this video. <laughs> Guess I wanted, I had more to say, but I don't know, man. I want everybody to, bro, my life is fucking crazy. I know for a fact that I've been through some crazy shit, bro. Uh, I've been... The kid that made all the fucking friends, you know what I'm saying? The funniest person in school to the baddest nigga. The, the greatest grades, but the baddest dude on the street, you know what I'm saying? And all the way to having no friends and shit, you know what I'm saying? Right now I'm walking by myself <laughs> in a state that, in a different state because I didn't, you know, I didn't have friends in my last, you know, you leave places, you don't got nobody, you know what I'm saying? So I, I stepped from VA and here I am and shit. And I'm doing very well for myself in every state, but socially. I'm just now, I just got a new friend out here. Real cool female, you know what I'm saying? That's my homegirl and shit. But I know that if she didn't have patience and tolerance, we wouldn't be friends. Because of the simple fact that I can be an asshole sometimes. I can say stupid shit. I got fucking very, like, emotional feelings, bro. Like, I'm very in touch with myself. So I get fucking emotional like shit. And um, I get to blocking people. <laughs> I do a lot of childish shit, bro. So shout out to Nadi. <laughs> Nadi will be fucking. She be dealing with my ass. But real shit, I don't know, bro. A lot of niggas in my past, I done fucked over. A lot of people I done fucked over my battery low. But with that being said, I just wanted to say like, bro, one day I'm going to make up for all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to atone for everything I've done to anybody here. And shit, like, I don't know. T I, I don't know, bro. I'm going to make up for that shit one way or another. Because the last thing I want in life is to be always remembered as, you know, a problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got a high-ass GPA, a smart-ass brain, a good-ass heart. And I'm trying to use that shit now. So that's what we're going to be doing from tomorrow on. December 21st, that's my time, you know what I'm saying? Fucking new year, this a new era. This a new epoch. Y'all need to open your brains, close your eyes and open your eye. Already, <laughs> I'm finna make some clothes like that. Close your eyes and open your eye, oh God. Real shit, don't steal my shit. <laughs> I'm out, bro.